So now let's go ahead and actually create our header. So we're going to go to back to index.html and we're obviously going to keep on adding our elements, right? So again, I'm just going to create a little bit of a room and maybe I'm just going to clean up a little bit so we have a little bit better view over here. But in here, I'm just going to say that I would want to create a header and within the header, I'm just going to create a section over here like this and within the section, I'm going to actually create a uh, over here a heading one I'm going to say a heading one and the heading one is going to say coffee over here like this and after that I'm going to create a paragraph and the paragraph is going to say coffee over here is the best thing ever so coffee is the best thing ever ever so something like this and after that what we're going to do is actually we're going to create a link and I'm going to give it a class of button over here like this. And after that, we're going to give it an href also. And this is going to be, again, a hashtag, the value. And over here, we're going to write a click if you agree, right? Click if you agree. Agree. So something like this. Now, after that, we're going to actually go to CSS. And we're actually going to start styling everything. So we need to actually go to CSS over here like this. And we don't obviously want to work with the big screen. Again, we just want to keep on working with a small screen first. All right. So again, we after the class active, what we we're going to do is we're going to create a uh, rules for a header. So I use the selector header. And then I would want to say that the background image over here, this is going to be my background image and I'm going to say URL. And this URL is going to have a images, images over here. So I'm just going to close it over here and see what's happening. Why we don't have it over here? Because we need to press over here like this. So images, right? So now we have images and over here I'm going to be using coffee or no, actually I'm not going to be using coffee. Sorry, I'm going to be using beans, right? I'm going to be using beans over here like this. Now, after that, what we're going to do is actually we're going to say that we would want a padding over here for our whole header. I'm going to say it's going to be like 3 a.m., something like this. And after that, I'm going to say that it's going to be text align center. It's kind of hard to see text right now because we have a colors that are blocking. And after that, we're going to say that this is going to be color white. So color and this is going to be white. And now you can see that our text is appearing. And after that, we have a border, border bottom over here. And we're going to say that this is going to be 0 0.5 EM solid chocolate. All right, this is going to be our border. So now I can see our little border over here. Now we're done with that. Actually, let's go to header section and H1, right? So over here we have header, we say section, section or you're like this and we say h1 now we can write also right away a header h1 there's no difference because we don't have multiple sections over here so i'm just going to write header one and over here i'm just going to say font size because i want a little bit different font size i'm going to say that this is going to be 8 em so now you can see how big it is and then i'm going to say that this is going to have a padding padding on the top it's going to be let's say something like 0 0.5 ems and after that i'm going to say margin bottom All right so it's going to be margin bottom 0 0.75 ems so now i can see that it's slowly but surely it's coming along and after that we're going to say that we're going to have a header as uh, say uh, the paragraph right this is the next thing we want to style so over here we're going to say again that we would want a text uh let's say margin top sorry not text margin top we're going to say that we'll want a margin top to be something like 1 em over here then we're going to say that we would want a font size to be 2 em so i'm going to use a font size and i'm going to say 2 em so now i can see that it how it got bigger right away and then after that we're going to say font family is going to be a little bit different it's going to be fantasy something like this and after that we're going to say the line height is going to be 
0.2 ems all right so now we have our paragraph styled and the next thing that we would want to do is actually you know what we forgot margin bottom right so we'll write over here margin bottom and we would say that this is going to be like 1 em right so now we have also margin over here and the next thing we're going to do is actually style this a uh, link that we have however you saw that i created a class and i'm going to be adding the class to all of my links right so over here i'm just going to say the text align is going to be center then after that i'm going to say that a uh, display is going to be inline block over here like this inline block and next thing I'm going to say that this is going to be trans uh, text transformation to uppercase. So text transform is going to be to uppercase over here like this. And after that, I'm going to say that the background color is going to be red over here like this. And over here, we're going to say that the color is going to be black like this. And after that, we're going to say that margin is going to be 1 EM. And over here, we're going to say padding is going to be 2 em. Right, so now you see how it got right away bigger. And border radius, it's obviously going to be something like, I don't know, 2 em. So we're just going to make it pretty round. And text decoration is the none. So it's going to be none. So now we got rid of this annoying underline. And pretty much we have our button. Now one more thing that I want to do is as I'm hovering over it, I want to also add a pseudo class, right? So over here, I would say A, and this is going to be button, and this is going to be hover, and over here, we're going to say a background color is going to be black as we're hovering, and over here, the color is going to be white. Color white, right? So now let's check it out what we have. You can see as I'm hovering over it, it actually turns black with the white font, right? And again, if we go over here, you can see how our nav bar gets actually to inline block. But this one, we actually don't uh, don't want to change. We actually like it like, like the way it is. Therefore, we don't need to go over here to this media query and actually change anything. We can just leave it for now like it is. We will going to be adding some other sections that we're going to create. But this one is going to stay the way it is. And I think we're pretty much ready to actually jump to our block quote and create a block quote and style the block quote.